Okay, it's November the 25th, 2011, and we're in Cambridge, this is the Botanic Gardens, and we've come here uh, today to remember my mum, and we come here because it's a special place for her and for me, and there is a memory that I have of her, which was about 45 years ago, so that would be 1965 when we came here together and a little event happened which I'm going to recreate today. And this is the spot which is in the sort of rockery at the Botanic Gardens. It's very nice and it's kind of not exactly how I remember it because it was obviously a sunny day. We certainly had ducks and we certainly had a rather nice tinkling little waterfall in the background there. Okay here we are and this is the this is the thing. This is HMS Mother. It's a small submarine toy and it's going to take part in this little ritual today. Well, it's a sort of ritual but it's also a sort of ceremony. The submarine clearly isn't a real submarine, but we're going to launch it today into the depths of this pond. And as we launch it, we're going to spiritually or sort of launch away our mother either into the depths or it'll float and come back up to the surface and hence skywards. It's 1.30 now. It's going to happen. This is the bag of stuff here. Yeah. Uh, which isn't really much part of the whole process, but it is crucial to the process. Uh, as long as there's nobody seeing me with this bag of white powder. There we go. Whoop! Mother got a... <laughs> got it in the face. Then. No, I didn't. Okay, there's the white powder in the thing. You're looking incredibly suspicious there. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> Things ready to go, oh. but unfortunately we don't need to see it. anybody to see us doing this. So, okay, here we go. It is 1.30 on the dot and off goes our little submarine. And there it is, condemned to the deep. No, it's doing something. Or is it? It seems to have done a nosedive. <laughs> Still, it is. The splendid thing about this is it's, it's really quite unpredictable what was going to happen here. Yeah. So there it is. And there she goes. We'll give it a minute, I think. So it's still there, and we've given it mm, give five it minutes or so. I'm not going to give it a nudge because I think that would be downright cheating, <laughs> well, and I'm not I'm not prepared to do that. We we will come back, but before we do that, I think I'd like to just sort of uh, just make sure that it's not going to come up. And I don't think it is. You can still see it down there. You know. In. I can't I no idea how this camera does zoom in, but you can still see it and you can still see it clearly says HMS Mother on the side of it. And there it is. Actually you can't see that very clearly, so I'll go over here before we do the last part of the whole thing. Ah, yeah, there we go. Hopefully no, you can shame. see. Oh, we're not going to give it no poke, Vicky. No. Not any old poker <laughs> hunters business here. There it is. 
nose dived, <laughs> stays in the bottom. A few bubbles coming out of it quite, quite nicely there, but I think that's where it's going to stay. And so I think we'll, we'll say goodbye to HMS Mother. Kind of waving a little bit in there. There's some lovely bubbles coming from it. Hadn't realised the bubbles come out the back of it. And they are coming out the back. And the petals will they're gonna drift away rather nicely down that little Those. I'm not quite sure how much of that you did or didn't get, but the petals are going nicely down the little stream there, and then when that happens, that will be an end to it, I think. Okay. Yep. Angel's fingers part the curtains. They know the importance of small things. They know who to reunite you with. Imperceptibly, they flutter their wings and give you a kiss and promise of a new life.